Rapid decrease in Arctic snow and ice and significant environmental changes are the most drastic evidence of global warming. Better understanding of the status and trends and causes of Arctic environmental changes and accurate future prediction are very important, not only for Arctic, but also global climate issues. JAMSTEC have been conducting the Arctic research since early 1990s. Then, with accumulating our experience for the Arctic research and also in the context of growing social interest of Arctic issues, JAMSTEC established the Institute of Arctic Climate and Environmental Research, so-called IACE, on April 1st, 2015. We are now investigating the Arctic environmental changes using a research vessel Mirai, a simulator, and other facilities. Research vessel Mirai has been conducting the Arctic Ocean observation cruise almost every year since 1998. Our research target is mainly in sea ice reduction area to understand what kind of changes and impacts can be found after sea ice retreat in the Arctic. We found that, due to global warming and sea ice reduction, the Arctic Ocean is warming, freshening, and changing more active. Also, it was a very cold and quiet ocean with sea ice cover. We also understand that, especially in the Pacific sector of the Arctic Ocean, Influence of Pacific water inflow through the Bering Strait are very important from not only physical and chemical, but also biological points of view. To evaluate the impact of the Arctic environmental stressors on marine organisms and ecosystems in lower trophic level, we have conducted field observation, plankton culture experiment, and development of numerical modeling. Ocean acidification is proceeding in the Arctic with the fastest rate of the world due to sea ice reduction and increase in fresh water input. Micro X-ray computer tomography technique is one of the useful methods for ocean acidification research. Using this technique and collected samples from the Arctic Ocean, we can evaluate the change of carbonate shell density of plankton foraminifera and teropod dwelling under the condition of ongoing ocean acidification. In this research unit, we also started collaboration with ocean policy experts for further research on marine ecosystems and educational outreach activity. Temperatures have been increasing at higher rate in the northern high latitudes, especially over the land area. This can greatly alter the atmosphere and the terrestrial surface environment, such as permafrost degradation, wildfire, and greenhouse gas emissions from boreal forest ecosystems. We are trying to understand the impact of Arctic warming in a long-term flagship observing site in interior Alaska. The vertical, turbulent greenhouse gas fluxes between the atmosphere and the surface are measured by the eddy covariance method. We are also measuring and modeling the black carbon emission transport and deposition. They are also an important topic for the understanding of the role of black carbon to climate feedbacks. Our group performed numerical experiments in order to elucidate how the Arctic and polar extrapolar interaction will be under the global climate change. Facilities such as a supercomputer the Earth Simulator support our research activities. In our recent study, for instance, we've shown that the reproducibility of warm water transport into the Barents Sea from the North Atlantic is essential to predict the wintertime sea ice condition up to 11 months ahead in the Barents Sea and eventually in the whole Arctic Ocean. There are lots of knowledge gaps concerning the sea ice of the Arctic Ocean, such as the sea ice thickness, sea ice dynamics, 
and sea ice ocean interactions. Therefore, we GMSIC is now developing a special platform that will be moved under the sea ice and measure the various kind of data continuously and automatically. It's like an intelligent underwater drone for the Arctic Ocean. Now, we've already designed and have started building a prototype. In the near future, we believe that underwater drones will collect invariable data under the sea ice. Thinking of future prediction about Arctic and global environmental changes, there are still many uncertainties. Therefore, we need to improve our understanding for reduction of such uncertainties. We need to collect accurate and comprehensive data, for instance, in a sea ice region, permaforest area, and other data in sufficient area in the Arctic. Such data and new knowledge can collect our misunderstanding of important processes for the Arctic region and support development of more accurate climate model for future prediction. Based on our results, we continue to provide useful data and knowledge regarding Arctic environmental changes toward not only scientists, but also stakeholders who are interested in Arctic and global climate issues.